Good morning, boys and girls. It's a beautiful, rainy, windy, overcast, cloudy day here on Key Cocker. And we're gonna try to go out and do a little fishing. It's probably a little bit too gnarly out there to go outside the reef, and we'll probably keep it on the inside and in the back. We're gonna start by getting some sardines. Rolling with my buddy Chris today, Captain Mark. Mark's a real old school fisherman. I remember being a badass from back in the day. And I look forward to uh, getting some time on the water together. We just zipped across the little uh, behind Key Cocker Bay area here. We're pulling up in the mangroves. We're gonna see if we can find ourselves some sardines because sardines are gonna be our bait of choice today. We don't have anything much larger. If they're not here, we'll go find them somewhere else. But there's a good chance we'll be able to find a school tucked up inside the mangroves in here. So just gonna keep our eyes open, look for some sparkles in the water, maybe some little signs on the surface. It's real cool up in here in the mangroves though. You guys have heard me talk about how much I love mangroves. Pretty cool couple of boats just tied up over here. I wonder if they're full of cocaine. <laughs> Probably not, but. Just saw our first little sign of sardines as we were cruising into this little back cove. A little bit of a um, scatter across the surface. We're gonna cruise up into this little, little cutty in close, kind of protected by a mangrove area and see if we can't find a bigger school. Uh, fill up the live well real quick. Down past the reserve. We got lines in the water again. Hoping to 
pick up something on the troll. And I think once we get down here far enough, we're going to stop and do a little more drop fishing, try to stick some snappers in the box. some real swift driving by the captain. I'm sure he can do it. All the faith. Hopefully there's still a fish on. See him right there? Put a nice jack away. Nice, man. Real good. I can't grab him by the. He definitely went for the sardine and just got foul hooked. I don't think we just luck boxed into a jack like that. You can see the other hooks right at his mouth. Yeah, bud. Nice fish. Gotta be stoked on that. What's up guys, got into something. Whatever it is, doesn't feel too big. I'm thinking it's gonna be a, a grouper or a mutton snapper. Looks like a yellow tail. Or a yellow tail, yellow tail, all right. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. yeah, there's other fish behind it chasing it. rock out front that we decided looks friendly enough to try doing a little drop fishing so we're going to soak some bait here for a little while and try to get into some snappers and uh, hope that the waves aren't too obnoxious there's a fish gets a pardon. Pretty little Spanish grunt. There's a good fish. These have great fillets on them and are definitely an eater fish. And this little part is going in the box for sure. I didn't get any of the fight, you guys. But I just caught this, this wild fish. I don't think it's actually a type of eel, but it looks like an eel. And they call it an eel. Look, it's long and skinny. It's kind of badass. This one's going to get a pardon. Uh, Mark says some people do eat these, but he's never had them. And I'm going to go ahead and go with that. So <laughs> if you're if you're a old school local Belizean fisherman and you've never eaten something out here, I'm probably not going to be the first to start trying it that out. That one's on a good fish. Oh, a parrot fish. Wild. I've never caught a parrot fish on a line. I thought they didn't eat, eat um, fish. I thought they only ate coral. Oh, yeah, baby. That one's pulling a little drag. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Mutton Swallowed snappers. It. Swallowed it down. That's actually probably my favorite snapper to eat. It's not a true red, but it gets called a red a lot because they are a red snapper. And that's like a perfect, perfect size fish right there. Beautiful mutton snapper for the box. Stoked on that. There's another one. Not quite as big. Hoping it's not a grunt. I could 
tell. I could just tell. Let's see how quick this frigate bird is. Whew. Not quite quick. quick enough. Close, but not quite there. The goal is to catch more yellowtails, like the one Chris just caught, and uh, more mutton snapper, because those are ideal eating fish. We'd be happy with um, any of the other snapper species, but we don't want to catch grunts. And when you catch a grunt, it usually means that you're fishing a little bit closer to the rock patch or to the, or the reef or some of the actual coral. Um, the yellowtails and muttons and stuff like that tend to hang out on the grass patches or in the sand flats a little bit more. Look at that, these guys doubling up. Chris got another yellowtail. Mark's got a beautiful little dog tooth right there. Now we're, now we're starting to catch some fish. Beautiful sunset starting to happen in the background. I think we're gonna get into them. That's a good fish right there. I don't know what it is, but whatever he is, feels better, feels a little bit better than the last one. <laughs> oh yeah, so much better. This is, oh, this is they both missed it. biggest biggest fish of the day. <laughs> Woo! It's a coral patch. To be real, I think the rockfish that you caught earlier was a little bit bigger even, but not even the biggest rockfish of the day. I just missed a good one for sure. Oh, oh, come on back now. Come on back now. Come on back now. Chris just got into a little grunt right here. And look at who's already directly above us. Oh, oh that's yeah. another lucky fish. These guys yeah. are blowing it today. You guys are getting greedy. jack so we're just gonna lay him out here on the dock and try to go to town we've only got like a little over an hour until curfew so we've got to get through this box of like at least a dozen fish or something like that in an hour and the goal is to just scrape them get the guts out of them get them storable pack them on ice so that we can really give them a proper cleaning or filleting or whatever tomorrow and uh, we're just gonna start breaking these fish down real quick let's lay them all out though yeah Not, not a bad little haul. Captain Mark grabbed a few fish to take home with them, and we gave a couple away um, on our travels to this point. But right there, I see six yellowtail, three pargies, three little black snap, or no, three little uh, schoolmasters, four uh, beautiful muttons. What looks like one of them's maybe a lane, two muttons and two lanes, and a nice sized jack. So. That's a solid 17 fish that we got, and we gave away probably um, three, five. We gave away five, so it's a solid 20-something uh, solid fish day. Pretty hyped on that. 